main reason for us forming the band was to enter competitions in Trinidad called Pan Ramaji. After fourth year winning, we pulled out of the competitive arena and tried to start spreading music overseas. But we knew what it took to bring the, the vibe in our audience because we are sure. And the music that we played was not just anything. We fighting to do Charlie Parker, we doing James Brown. We actually did Boston Symphony Hall. You're in awe because, I mean, just going into the backstage area and looking up at the things and looking at the walls and realizing that you are in the Boston Symphony Hall. And when we were finished with that concert, the whole concert, the whole auditorium was on their feet. We went to the studio one evening and we didn't leave until 6 a.m. And we went to a gas and song. Cleaner than anything that ever was recorded on Pan. We want to actually show the audience what Trinidad and Tobago music is about. So we did some workshops in some schools. We, we did um, kind of a history of pan, from slavery into drums, into tambo bamboo, into the evolution of pan and all of that. You know, it's like we changed the perspective that people had of pan and pan players. It's entertainment. <laughs> it was crazy. We had a real tight relation as friends. We had a real family. When we feed off of each other, the crowd actually feel that energy. And then they start to get excited and then we start to feed off of their energy you now. Whatever Dave ends up on, Patrick will pick up on the same notes and start from there. And then whatever she ends on, Sheldon will do the same thing you know, and whatnot. Uh, I believe Panas is always a, a treasure, Trinidad and Tobago, and even for the Caribbean. We know that we have something that's different and just like excited to present that.